Allez, Miss Bonnie something I think about. A peculiar outlook. I can't really say I understand you. I can't always say I do either. Oh, don't be so deliberately enigmatic. I'm not, miss. Yes, you are. You are being deliberately obscure as a substitute for having a personality. I just know there are two theories to arguing with women, and neither one works. I'm not even going to dignify that gibberish with a response. coming down here many times but never made it. Who's we? Me and the folks I used to used to work with. Yeah, New Austin. The last real outlaw country. Where the old ways still hold true. Do a man wrong, he'll shoot you for it. Do a man right? Well, he still may shoot you for it. But at least you have an idea of what's right and what's wrong there. Dear oh dear Mr. Marston, what dreadful novel did you get that romanticized drivel out of? Those days are long gone if they were ever here at all. According to Paul, those days were just people shooting each other because they lost the cart. We'll be lucky if our ranch survives another five years. Businessmen are the new cowboys. You look like a man who's been through the mill. Uh, thank you. I mean, you've lived some life. I'm 27 years old and I have rarely left Hennigan's stead. Although many years ago, we did briefly employ a French governess. Well, I think she was French. She said she was French, but she spoke Russian. That was when Paul thought I would become a lady. A change of pasture doesn't always make for a fatter calf. So this is Armadillo. Manhattan it is not, but it does okay for us. important thing for you right now is getting yourself into Dr. Johnson's office to purchase some medicine. The first one's on me. Thank you, miss. I'll pay you back. I'm sure you shall. The doc's a good fellow. He saved your life, so be polite to him. Meet me in front of the general store when you're done. Oh, les gens, faut m'expliquer un truc, là, pour ceux qui ont joué au jeu. Pourquoi est-ce que j'ai des armes en or Ouais, pas d'indication comme quoi il y a des... Oh non, 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 comment ça on peut déjà activer des codes Ma foi Oui, j'ai mis facile sur la visée, parce que je suis une tanche pour viser à la manette. Enjoy the view for once, and a little company never hurts now and again. You're more than welcome, miss. Least I can do. Thank you for the medicine. Why don't you have a look around Armadillo? You can always take a stagecoach back to the ranch later. I might just do that. Travel safely, miss. Try not to get yourself shot. 
I won't be around to save you this time. He's on to friendly. Bon, alors, allons vers le M. Excuse me. Hey, hey, you got a visitor. <coughs> <laughs> Shut up, you. And what you want? My name's John Marston. You wanted to speak to me. I did. Apparently so. Why? I guess because we're both in the business of the law. You that fella from the train company? No, I'm from Fort Mercer. Fort Mercer? You them, one of them Williamson boys. Calm down. Go on, shoot him, mister. Shoot him! <laughs> Come on, what? You, you getting keep with me, boy? What's going on here? I got me one of them Williamson boys. I got me one of them idiots who give marshals a bad name. Oh, no. Put your gun down. You must be the man from Blackwater. Yes, sir. Listen, that dog ain't too bright. But he seems loyal. Jonah, get out of here for a minute. Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson, sir. And you. Oh, I done seen enough of your hide around here, friend. <laughs> I think there's some school children down the way you can go and frighten. Oh, hardy fucking whore. Dickhead. <laughs> What are you doing here, Mr. Marston? Apart from frightening my deputies. I'm here to capture or kill Bill Williamson. <laughs> okay. Can you help me? He's outside my jurisdiction. He's in the next county. Of course, Bill Williamson and his boys have tended to keep themselves away from my town. So you're happy to have him out there? Well, I ain't happy, but I also ain't suicidal. My job is to keep this town safe, not clean up all of these three counties. It's hard enough around here. You know, I hear you speak, and suddenly I'm reminded of how some of the people I respected most in my life had a problem with authority. What's wrong with you? Well, I'm sure you and your fine friends have enjoyed spending your time running around pursuing noble causes. My cause is to keep this town from turning into a living hell for the folks who live here. The whole world has problems, mister. And I'm here doing what I can. Why? What's happening? Right now? I got the railway, the people who pay my salary, trying to get me to turn a blind eye to them burning down settlements up there. I got a bunch of cattle rustlers out near Box Canyon need shutting down. Not forgetting the gang that keeps murdering homesteaders out in the back country. And I got a bunch of hoods over in the saloon, drunk, threatening to shoot up the whole town. That's all I got today. But it's early yet. Give me a couple more days. There'll be more. All right. Tell you what. <sighs> Let's go deal with them hoods in the saloon. Then we'll discuss Williamson. Okay, boy. You're a persistent little cuss, ain't you? Only when things matter. Hello. Let's head over to the saloon. That deal. What's the run? 
Ah, il est vieux le Marshall, hein Let's go. La la biche Et au frère Looks like he's holed up at the old Pleasant's house. Let's hold up a minute and find a spot for our horses. Coucher ma gueule. Il est dead. Ah merde On va peut-être pas mettre autant de... d'aide à la visée, je crois. Easy Not a bad shot, Mr. Marston. Why don't you check in with me next time you're in town? I don't want to be no policeman, Marshal. <laughs> Nor did I, my friend. I can promise you that. I'll see you soon, Mr. Marston. Yes! Nous avons eu 20 dollars. What have we got here? Et moi j'entends une baston dans le coin là. Hey, 
stranded out here. I could really use a ride. Euh. Ah, le bâtard Con va. Vous vous souvenez de Rada Online quand il fallait payer pour changer sa réputation Bonjour Seven three one. What is it with these things? Hello. It's a new line. Hello. Hello. Sounds fun. What's happening? I have no idea. Yeah, if it's important, they'll send someone down like they did with you. Suddenly, the world is full of days. Yeah. <laughs> I remember when we first got here. We used to consider people from Dade County to be exotic. Now guys can get here from the Midwest, and they can do it in six days. Things have changed. <laughs> They've gotten away from me. Hello? I don't understand it no more, boy. Honest goodness. I'm not sure I do. <laughs> Marshall! Marshall! <coughs> Marshall! I've just been up in the canyon, spying like you said. I think I've seen me a couple of them rustlers. I think it was the Baller twins and a couple of Mexicans. They up there right now? Well, it was a group of four men rounding up Mr. Gulch's livestock, and none of them looked like any of Gulch's hands, so yes, sir, right now? That sarcasm's most unbecoming, Eli. It's gonna hold you back in life, even worse than your lazy eye. All right, let's go. You ride with us again, Marson? Will you help me? I will try. And it'd be my pleasure. Just a boy. Boy, Marshall, tu te grouilles? How long have you been working for the government, Marston? I don't work for the government. Well, I got a telegram from some federal clowns in Blackwater that says otherwise. Are you some kind of vigilante? You don't look like no government, boy. I guess it's complicated. I came because it was made impossible for me not to. You sure are a tight lip son of a bitch, mister. I guess I am. I ain't gonna dig this hole no deeper. Ain't you all proud and superior? Don't forget you need us more than we need you. Bill Weaveson folded you up like an empty person last time, if I remember correctly. Simmer down, Jonah. Listen to your boss, Jonah. There's a good boy. Otherwise, I'll put a hole in your hillbilly head and watch your tiny brain drain out. Be honest with you, Marston. I ain't for all this government interference. Believe me, Marshal. Neither am I. I try to keep the federal boys happy. I mean, we need all the help we can get. But what does a flannel mouse city boy who's never forked a bale of hay in his life know about a state like New Austin? Nothing, I reckon. All this manifest destiny hogwash came in a wild land. Not far now. Eyes open, boys. Un instant. Allez. Hmm, des gorges profondes. Let's go. Stay alert, boys. 
Be ready, boys. We're probably going to be outnumbered. And those bastards ain't short on firepower, neither. Let's see how many there are. If we can take them alive, good. If not, smoke the sons of bitches. Music to my ears, Marshal. Alors, alors, est-ce qu'on va se faire embuscader Ça, ça se dit pas embuscader, mais bon. Et pas où je vais Je vais suivre le marshal, moi. Oh, il y a eu le William Scream. Oh Attendez, les gars, en charge. What? Ah, c'est des potes. Non, parce que cet endroit m'en fait quelque chose. Euh... Allez. Merde, j'ai pas encore le dédail, ça me saoule. Il y a un petit coffre là. Vous avez récupéré une pomme. Ouais, c est, c est, euh, cet endroit, c'était une des premières missions de Red Dead Online. Oh merde. Les bro là Oh là 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 Calmos, calmos, calmos En tout cas c'est bien, on a enfin un peu d'action. Il y a encore exécution corps à corps ou pas dans celui-là Ah 
Eh ouais. <rire> Ils sont encore là. qu'il est mort lui Cure <rire> me shot Vous voulez les employés du ranch Non. J'arrive Thanks, Marshal. We're indebted to you with our lives. Just get them cattle back safe. All right. Ah, oh, thank you. Ah, oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Well done, Mr. Marston. Yes, well done. Now, about Williamson. I'll do what I can. You know, as you can see, this country is infested with all manner of scum. Say that again. But one other thing, Marston. Mr. Johnson, sir. It's Mr. West Dickens. He's missing. Who? Mr. West Dickens, the tonics merchant. He was due in town last week. Oh, the narcotic and bat piss salesman who cons housewives out of their money with promises of eternal youth. Yes, him, but I think you're being a little unfair. He's helped a great many of the county, and many of the townsfolk are really missing him. You hear that, Marston? We just butchered a gang of thieves, and the town is up in arms about a missing snake oil merchant. I am so glad to be serving such a wise and respectable people. Come on, Eli. Le cheval, le cheval, c'est vraiment génial. Tout qu'on en fait des saucisses charales. Miam. C'est les saucisses charales. Avec le cheval, le cheval, c'est vraiment génial. J'ai où là J'ai un W. Et j'ai encore Bonnie and Clyde là-bas. On va faire W. Mine de rien, je suis pas mécontent de l'évolution des, des jeux hein, quand je vois Red Dead 1. Il y a encore de bons trucs, mais le, le cheval, oh là, c'est une horreur. Je suis d'accord qu'à l'époque c'était génial, mais. <rire> Regardez ça, il va trop vite le cheval, wesh. Salut Lucasou, ça roule <rire> Et Je vous jure, j'ai envie de retrouver sur Red Dead Online, mais le problème c'est que Red Dead Online c'est de la merde quoi 
Faites des dons pour que Becky vienne avec nous sur Red Online. Allez Nigel, j'arrive Alors vous imaginez ce jeu avec le gameplay du 2 Avec les graphismes du 2 Pourquoi est-ce que Rockstar a donné en sous-traitance le portage Switch et PS4 quoi Vous allez voir, ça va, ça va nous faire une... Une GTA Trilogy Definitive Edition avec tous les bugs qu'il y avait à l'époque. Au moins sur GTA Trilogy, ils ont fait un effort pour, pour améliorer le graphisme, même s'il y avait des trucs qui étaient franchement dégueulasses quoi. Je, je comprends pas pourquoi Rockstar... Euh une telle haine de, de Red Dead alors que c'est sûrement l'un des meilleurs jeux pour pas dire le seul jeu qui est viable en termes de Far West et non hein, tout le monde veut du GTA Online et où faire foutre <rire> excuse me sir you need help mister you alive fuck a fuck god damn it good heavens excuse me I said No, I'm not okay. Do I look like I'm okay? You look pretty good for a corpse. <laughs> Praise be. <laughs> Move up, mister. Time to get you to a doctor or an undertaker. Whichever you need once we get to town. Uh, St. Peter, open up them pearly gates. I'm coming home. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, mister. Come on. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Hey, sir, I'm bleeding like a badly butchered hog. You'll be fine. Just focus. You better take the reins. I don't think I'm strong enough. I'm finished. Done for. Just sit up straight, will you? The closest doctor is in Armadillo. 